Hey everyone, what is going on? My name is Nick and welcome back to the Nick and Doug Express where I like to express my opinions on a variety of different topics. I was not expecting a trailer today, but we have one for Honest Thief starring Liam Neeson. I remember hearing about it. I think, I can't remember the exact premise, but once I see the trailer, I'll probably remember. But from what I do remember from reading it, it seemed like it had an interesting premise, something a little bit different and unique, if I'm thinking about it correctly. I think there's a couple other people I might remember in here, but I'm not sure. It's been a little bit since I even read about it, but I really do like Liam Neeson. He's got a really cool acting career, man, like Taken. Um, he's been in Schindler's List. He's he's done, um, like, Unknown. He, he's done uh, the Airplane movie. I'm, I'm forgetting now. What's that Airplane movie? Not Flight. Now, now I'm just spacing now, but he's done so much movies, and I'm really excited to get into this, because from what I remember, as I said, I think it seemed like it was going to be a really unique movie, but without further ado, let's get into this Honest Thief trailer, because I really want to see what it's actually about. I've robbed 12 banks in seven states. I have a little over nine million dollars in cash, and no one knows who I am. I want to turn myself in. I want to make a deal. What kind of deal? I hand over all the money I stole in exchange for a reduced sentence. It's important. And what's so important about it? I met a woman. I want to be with her for the rest of my life without lying about my past. Special Agent Hall, this is Special Agent Evans. Where's the money? The man is telling the truth. We can take this money for ourselves. Let's do it. Whoa, whoa, I'm turning myself in. FBI, open up. What exactly is going on? His real name is Thomas Dolan, former Marine, demolitions expert. He needs to come clean. I'm not a bank robber anymore. With the murder one charged for killing one of their own. Feds will come after me and keep coming. Those two crooked cops are willing to kill another agent. What are they capable of doing to you and me? My girlfriend. She had nothing to do with this. Agent Nevins. I'm coming for you. Do what you have to do. Ah! Knowing how to blow stuff up, that's uh, pretty cool. Evans. I want to clear my name, which means I need a full confession from you. Five, four, three, two, one. Ready to confess? Well, I was right. It did have a different time. Like, a little different of a premise with the kind of same flavor of like what Liam Neeson does. He's taking revenge, obviously, type of like a Liam Neeson thing to do. But at the same time, it had that different flavor of like those cops becoming dirty midway through of him trying to like actually confess and have a normal life, but then he can't. So then he needs to clear his name. That's that's pretty cool. I mean, it's made by Open Road. I guess Open Road's the only company I really know, except Raven, I guess. But I don't know who's directing it or writing it, but. This movie does have a really competent feel to it. It's It might have a bit of that generic flavor to it from movies we've seen like it and from Liam Neeson, but it's adding a different style and take from it. And the action, the way it's shot and directed, it seems very competent. That's the word I'm using. Like, if this movie didn't feel competent, it could feel like maybe just another Bruce Willis type of thing, that he just does another generic movie with another generic trailer. But this actually sees, seems like it's trying to do something a bit fresh just to have the same type of movie Liam Neeson does but change it up for the audience to actually enjoy and actually want to buy it so that's cool and I like Liam Neeson a lot and he's getting up there in his age so get as many of these movies as he can under his belt and then I noticed um, the girl I always forget her name but she's from Grey's Anatomy private practice she's in 13 reasons why um, she's playing his girlfriend um, where have I seen her she's been in other stuff like a decent amount of stuff I've seen 
So I knew she was in it. I just didn't remember her. Jai Courtney. That guy has such an interesting track record because I do like him. Like I don't think he's a bad actor. His choices of roles are very questionable because I really do like him in Jack Reacher. I like him in Divergent and I did enjoy him in Suicide Squad for whatever problems that movie had. I did enjoy his character. And then he did like, you know, the stupid Divergent sequels. It's like whatever he did, like I Frankenstein, he did Good Day to Die Hard, he did Terminator Genesis and it just seems like he hasn't really had a good role and he's kind of good at playing a dick so it's like okay so of course he's gonna play one here but it seems like he's gonna be pretty good in it so I'm glad he's gonna get more decent roles because I haven't really seen him in anything since I don't think Suicide Squad like I know he's probably done stuff but like I haven't actually seen his seen him around for a bit now and as I said I do enjoy him so I hope he gets better roles I mean he's gonna be in the new Suicide Squad movie so I hope I feel like that will be his shining moment, and I think that will probably do some better things for him. Unless the movie isn't good, but that's, you know, it's James Gunn. What do you think is going to happen? But back to this, I really enjoyed it. I probably do want to see it, because it seems like my type of action movie. We're really into most action movies anyway, and so it's adding that fresh flavor. Liam Neeson, good characters, and at the end of the day, seems like it's mostly competent, so... Just have to wait to see when it comes out. But thank you all for joining in on this trailer reaction, guys. And feel free to express your opinions down in the comment section about Liam Neeson, about the trailer, about these types of movies in general, or really anything else, because this is a place to express your opinion. And if you're new here, click that like button and subscribe and join in on the conversation and give me other stuff to react to, because that's what this channel is all about, finding new topics to talk about and just vibing with it. So with all that being said, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace, guys.